Dicho. Muy bien, dale. más te recto. Well, good morning. We're here at Gobernada Costa, Argentina. It's a very small town on Ruta 40. And uh, my hotel here, or I guess, what is it called? Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's not a hostel, hospedeja. It's a hospedeja. And the guy has a separate, I think it's a fourplex, back here in the back of his property. That's the front of the property, that's his home. And you know what? They just treat you really great. Fantastic. Hot water is great. It has a kitchen, everything like that. It's an early day today. I think it's now 20 to eight. And I plan to be on the road at eight o'clock. Uh, get going. It's minus one right now, but that'll warm up. Let's hope that'll warm up. And um, heading south, keep going. Uh, today's gonna be another a long day. Uh, yesterday was 12 hours total time. I think we had an hour of coffee, not coffee, pizza, coffee break for most people, but had a pizza break, about an hour messing around, looking and stuff like that, ran out of gas. <laughs> it's okay because I have my gas bag. It was full. It's full again. And the thing is, what's happening is that the, uh, the wind, any headwind you've got is just eating your gas mileage down. Like I'm losing, I should be getting over 300 kilometers on a tank and I'm getting like 200. So one third, gone. So you gotta recalibrate in your mind how far things are and I need a second gas bag. And so that's just what's happening there. I just need the second gas bag and it works out. I mean, it holds, it's like a second tank, it's 11, the guy filled it up and I said, 11.4, and he just kept going, or I, I kept him going. And it got to 11.9 and the bag is still not full full. So, good, I've got a full tank sitting on the back of my bag, uh, on the bike. I sure hope I don't have an accident because I sure wouldn't want anything to happen with that stupid bag, but uh, walking sucks even, you know, as much. So, so that's gonna be the deal. Uh, today, probably down to take the 40, I think, all the way down to Tres Lagos. I think, uh, we'll just sort of see, because you know how it goes, we play it by ear. So, um, yeah, let's get out there and have some fun. <laughs> Ooh, it's long. I mean, it's also boring, because just, some of it is so straight. It's just, uh, the environment is interesting. You know, like seeing the hillsides and stuff like that, the terrain can be interesting. But when you get a long straight road, it just, from the effect of physically doing something, it's very, very tiring, so you just, you know, I have to learn to talk to myself so I don't fall asleep and I don't drift off and, you know, I don't know why, that's just me. I don't know other people, maybe they just blitz through it and have no problem. My bike also has a max. With a tailwind, I, I reached 140, but that doesn't happen too often. With a headwind, I'm talking 100, maybe 110 max. And then it's just eating the gas, so. Anyways, we'll get out there and now we'll go out there and we'll have some fun, okay? Here we go. Beautiful place. I'm gonna turn around so you get a view of it because Hospitale Guria Guria Minya Guria Minya Beautiful
How you doing, Winter? I'm okay. You doing good? Yeah. You? Glad I got heated grips. I'll tell you that. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get the. Uh, what are they called? Where they put it? Oh, the um, the rhino mitts. No, the uh, hippo hippo hands. Hippo hands. Yeah, I wanted to get those, and I just didn't get them in time. I'm gonna get, I'm, for the next trip. I'm getting them. Yeah, for sure. station. Right. Otherwise the guy is sitting out here forever. Muy bien. Dale. Más de recto. Dale. Porque hay una otra... Oh, problema. Dale. Sí. Dale. Sí. Dos personas. Sí. Con atención esta. No entre, eh. See? Bueno. Poco. Vale. Vale. Can you uh, ride behind with your, be the tail guy with the, the um, emergency lights on? Yeah, there's a gas station. Right? Oh. You got the Western Union dialed in? Uh, yeah. Good <laughs> gas. You can go in and have a steak by the time we get out of here. I, 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 I don't know. I'm going to go into the bakery after. I think. Alright, let's go find us a Western Union. Almost feels like we're like these cowboys that come into town and. <laughs> Hola, Hola, señor. ¿Cómo está? Bien. Bien, ¿y tú? Bien, bien. Good gas. Good money. Two good things. All right, boss.
issue I'm having is this bolt is gone and that makes the whole visor hard. Basically a bed, a heater, a table that's going to come in handy, and the washroom looks clean. That's the basics. I need. Well, what a day! Uh, another seven hundred and. 50 kilometers, more or less. Let's see, a couple issues. Had the bolt out of my helmet pop out, lost forever. Uh, put some duct tape on it <laughs> to fix it so that everything doesn't whip off in the wind. And then I'll show you the repair in a minute. Uh, luckily, I had some duct tape. Uh, but now we are in, we are in Gobernat, Gar. G-O-B-E-R-N-A-D-O-R, Garbernador Gregores, Argentina. We're making our way. And uh, got a nice little hotel here. What can I say? They had a hardware store, which meant I could buy some more uh, duct tape. They also had bolts. Uh, so I bought a bolt for my helmet. I'll show you that repair in a minute as well. And uh, yeah, so overall, this town's looking good for such a small little town. What a day of riding. Uh, it's long, it's straight, but it's interesting terrain. Very much like Southern Alberta, Montana, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, big open spaces. It's still, it's a beautiful ride. Just a long, it's a long ride. And uh, I think that took us about seven or eight. No, that must have been more than eight hours, I'd say. We left it, we left this morning at 8.30. It's now 8.30. So that was probably a 10 hour drive somewhere in that range. And we didn't stop to eat. We only stopped for gas a bunch of times. The wind, pretty good, but not horrible. Uh, so yeah, I'm lucking out, I guess. Let me show you those, uh, let me show you those fixes to the helmet. Uh, so a bolt and two washers uh, to help fix that. And I'm going to put duct tape over that. And just like this side here, uh, so this is the side the bolt came out. I just switched it over because I needed to get into it. So I put the original one on this side. The duct tape is so that if this comes loose, that's going to stay in there. I'll probably cut this now uh, because the bolt's holding on. It doesn't. It only. It's only going to be there to to cover that so that it doesn't pop off, doesn't change anything. And uh, yeah, that's the deal. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Bing click the bell so you're notified when new episodes are released subscribe best way for you to keep track of the shows and share it with your friends really share it with your friends it's a great thing to share things with your friends you can have a laugh at me you know 
laugh at the, the show or whatever happens in there. Leave me a message. I would really like that. That'd be awesome. And um, you know what? The call to ride will continue. <laughs> Things are falling apart, but they're still going. So let's keep going. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Woo!